What's going on guys? Welcome to the second part of our Shaking Volatility tutorial uh, mini-series and our Stock Indicators and Mathematics uh, series. What we're talking about today is the Shaken uh, Volatility. And what we're going to need for this tutorial, whoops, is not this, is uh, if you don't have the sample data, uh, go to the link in the description for the sample data. Also, we want the sample code with the empty slot for that bottom indicator, and that is going to be basically this, where it's just like an empty spot, and that code is down here. Again, this link is in the description, so you can just come here and copy and paste this code. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, and you'll want this for the next video, but also what we're actually looking for uh, for the specific video is going to be uh, the exponential moving average calculation. So we'll want to go ahead and take that with us. And then we're going to want to go ahead and up here is where we're going to define some stuff. If you've been following along in my tutorial series as far as uh, Python charting stock, or uh, not charting stocks, uh, the stock indicators series, um, then you can use that same top spot. And if this is your first one and you intend to continue, um, you might want to just like you'll just copy and paste this next stuff that we're about to do over and over. So anyway, uh, make sure you have the sample data because that's what we're going to be hitting next. And let me go ahead and make uh, the text a bit bigger. Cool. Okay, so we want to uh, import numpy. Oops, numpy as mp import time. Uh, and then we're going to say sample data equals open, and this is the data that you should uh, save. And that's going to be sample data dot text with the intention to read it dot read uh, split data equals sample data dot split by new line and this is just data in the format from Yahoo's API so if you also just want to use your own little code that's connecting the Yahoo API if you've like followed some of my other tutorials you can do that as well so then it's date uh, close p high P, low P, open P, volume, and it has to be in that order, so that's the order that Yahoo spits it out, equals mp.load text. What text do we want to load? Split data. What's the delimiter of this text? It is a uh, comma. And then finally, unpack equals true, so we can unpack it into these variables as we want. Moving average, we've, or exponential moving average, we've already defined, so that's good. The other thing that we're going to need for this formula is percent change, because if you recall, it's, um, you know, first it's high minus low, then it's an exponential moving average of the high minus low, then finally it's a percent change of that exponential moving average, right? So we also need to define percent change. I do have a tutorial video discussing the surprisingly controversial percent change formula. Um, so if you want to know more about percent change, you can you can watch that tutorial. Luckily, it's only one line, so if you don't care, just uh, follow along with me. Otherwise, you can check out that tutorial. If I recall, or if I remember to, I will put the link to that also in the description. So percent change, new minus the old divided by the old times 100. So you need to have the new price and the old price. Old would be start point, new will be uh, current point. And the uh, calculation of this is just going to be return something, and it's going to be um, the float of uh, the current point minus, so float just converts it, so if it's a whole number, it just gives it a decimal point, like point 0.0. So when we go to use division, it doesn't uh, do you know Python division nonsense with us. So then, so new minus the old, so new current point minus the old start point. Then it's start point divided by the absolute value uh, of uh, start point. So new minus the old divided by the old, but it's the absolute value of the old. Again, if you want to know why I've done that, um, check the other video, um, or the actual tutorial video. Then that whole operation is going to be times 100 point zero zero oops point zero zero and finally what we're gonna go ahead and do is it's got to be well it doesn't have to be I suppose but for the sake of being correct uh, we'll throw parentheses around 
um, that operation. So it just returns you know, the data that we passed through that percent change. Now let's go ahead and actually begin the uh, shake and volatility calculation. So we're going to say define shaken vol calc. And to do this, it's going to be EMA used and then periods ago. Generally, that'll be 1010, but uh, since you can change it, you will we'll allow that. And then we're going to have uh, this, this function is going to return a shaken volatility. But right now, it's empty because we haven't populated it. Um, also, another empty array that we're going to be using heavily here is going to be high minus low. So I'll just hit high M low. And that's going to be an empty array for now as well. X will be zero. If you've been following my other tutorials, you can probably guess where I'm going. Otherwise, uh, we're going to say while X is less than the length of date, could be any of the values uh, in this function, or this, uh, not really a function, uh, these parameters here, right? Because we're populating these variables with the numpy load text function. Anyway, uh, we're going to say HML for high minus low. Uh, equals that high p x oops, x variable minus low p x variable. Fancy dancy stuff going on here. High capital M low dot pen HML x plus equals one, and we're done with that while loop. So now HM lower high minus low, all of those values are now calculated. So um, so that's that. Now the next thing we want to do is we're going to say uh, high m low EMA equals the exponential moving average of high m low and then EMA used. So here high m low is what we've defined here that we populated that array and then EMA used is what we've defined up here and asked it for. Uh, also, exponential moving average, I do have a tutorial on that, so if you want to know more about how this is working, uh, you can check out that video. So, and if I remember, I'll put the link in the description. Otherwise, remind me if you want me to put the link in the description. Pretty quick, uh, responding to comments, so just remind me and I'll stuff it in there. Next, uh, now that we've populated the high minus the low EMA, what do we have to do? Well, we have to do the percent change, right? But it's not a simple percent change. It's a moving percent change, right? So we have to do that. So next, we're going to say y equals EMA used plus periods ago. And so this will be so we start at the point of this plus this, so we can actually use all valid data in the calculation. So in, and if it was the 10, 10, it would be 10 plus 10, so y equals 20. So then we're going to do a similar thing that we've done before. So while y is less than length of date, and again, it could be any of these variables. They're all the same. Uh, in this case, it's 106. Um, so while that is the case, CVC for shaken volatility calculation equals percent change of what? Remember, this is the start point, current point. So the start point would be... Um, <clears throat> The periods ago. So let's say we would be in H M low um, EMA, and then uh, Y minus periods ago. So in theory, it would be like Y minus 10. Let's say. So if uh, the first one that we do, it's going to be 10 plus 10, so 20. Y will equal 20. So this would be 20 minus 10, so this would be 10 to what? Y, and if Y is 20, so this would be high minus low from the 10th to the 20th part of that array. Um, and that's our, oh sorry, I'm not thinking straight. <laughs> uh, that's what we want, right? So, so, so if Y is EMA used plus periods ago, so it would be Y was equal 20, so this would be 10, it's like 20 minus 10, so this would be the high minus low EMA of period 10. And then, uh, so that's the starting point. The current point would just be high M low EMA um, Y. Sorry, that was too tough. Again, doing all these, I usually do these videos like right in the morning when I'm still like drinking my coffee and waking up. So pretty slow. 
<laughs> shaken underscore volatility dot append CVC. So now CVS. Um, so we're now filling out this array. Okay. And now we just need to do y plus equals 1. And then we're all done. Now we can actually return date. Um, and then we want to do, basically, the date array needs to be kind of like our starting point of y, right? So we can literally just highlight this, copy this, oops, paste this, make a colon there. And just so it's totally clear this is an array kind of idea, I'm just going to do this, or actually a list. Um, then finally, shaken volatility. So it's going to return a date, the shaken volatility. Both of these will be of equal length and the data will match up. Um, that's because of the way that we've done it. Now finally, we're going to do shaken vol calc uh, 10, 10. And we haven't actually done really anything. So let's go ahead and just print uh, shaken volatility just so we can see it. So we'll save and run that and just see if we had any like major errors or anything like that. And let me flip this around. Let's do that. Run it. There we go. Okay, so um, looks like valid data points. So now let's uh, actually go ahead and chart it up into uh, matplotlib. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. So as always, thanks for watching, thanks for the support and the subscriptions, and until next time.